Hey guys, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how this whole lockdown situation is creating a whole bunch of new remote jobs, how this is the best time in the history of the world to find a remote job, and I'm gonna tell you how to take advantage of it so that you can find the ideal remote job for you. Now, if you've never had a remote job before, uh, let me just tell you first that working remote is, is really nice. I mean, it's been some five years since I've set foot in an office. I spent most of my working career working at boring office jobs and dusty cubicles, but uh, one day I got a call from a recruiter about a remote job, which was a kind of job that I never knew existed. My whole life changed after that. You don't have to sit in traffic anymore if you have a remote job. Uh, you don't have to dress up for work. In fact, you can work in your underwear if you want to. You have so much more freedom throughout the day, so if you want to leave and run an errand to go to the grocery store when it's not packed with people, uh, you can do that basically anytime you want. You can leave and take a walk and, and get some sunlight, right? You can take a nap, you know? If you can take a, a, a short nap because you're tired during the middle of the day, you can do that when you're working remote and you're not going to get in trouble for it. Um, I like to take a break to play guitar every once in a while. Or if you get hungry, if you're working at home, you can just step into the kitchen and make some food. The freedom is absolutely amazing. You get to travel wherever you want, whenever you want. I mean, you still are probably stuck to a little bit of a schedule, so it's kind of hard to work in the US and, and live in Asia, for example, unless you want to stay up all night working. But for the most part, you get to travel pretty much as much as you want. It also means that you can live wherever you want, right? When you have to come into an office, well, you're kind of stuck living near the office or else you're going to be waiting forever in traffic every single day. But if you're working remote, then you can live wherever you want. You can live a little further away from the city if you want, where the cost of living is cheap. You can even live in other countries if you want, which is something that I've actually done quite a lot because I found that some other countries, you can live on a, a fraction of the uh, cost that you live in the US. So if you're making US salary, paying South American prices for everything, you've effectively tripled your income. That's what I found. Another nice thing for me was that I could work at a standing desk. I was working for years and years at normal corporate office jobs, and I always had to sit at the desk because the desk they gave me uh, was one where you sit. And I was, in my 20s, I was already developing back pain because I was sitting so much and like hunched over a computer. And I remember my last job, I asked them if they would buy me a standing desk and they refused. They couldn't get me a standing desk. So uh, once I started working remote, voila, I got to buy myself a standing desk and help my back problems. You also have so much more free time when you work a remote job. And this is something that most people, until they work a remote job, they don't understand. But think about it. If you work in an office, if you're a, the normal office worker, spends eight hours a day or more in an office, but how much time of that is spent doing actual work? Well, some researchers looked into that question. They found that uh, the average office worker was only getting two to three hours of work done per day. So they're sitting in the desk for eight hours, but only doing two to three hours of actual work. And if you've ever worked in an office, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Because you waste half of your time talking to people next to you, going to, to get coffee, going to get water, like any excuse to not have to do the work that's in front of you. And then, you know, when it gets close to five, you're just like staring at your email inbox, waiting for the clock to strike five so you can finally go home. So most people are not really spending very much of that time doing actual work. Now, it's kind of the same when you're working remote, except that you're not stuck in the office. So if you can do four hours of work per day, actual productive work, you can take the other four hours off and you're still doing more work than most people. So if you can put in a solid four hours a day, then your boss is going to be really happy with you because you're going to be one of the top performers and then you have that other four hours, plus whatever time you would have spent sitting in traffic, that you can do whatever you want. So if you're interested in starting a business, for example, getting a remote job is an awesome intermediate step because you can get half of your work time back that you can use towards working on your business. And of course, uh, with all of these benefits, you're gonna be in a much better mood overall. Like you're gonna be a lot happier and a lot more satisfied with your life. So. 
Um, I hope I've, I've convinced you that getting a remote job is a good thing to do. Now I'm gonna tell you how this uh, lockdown is changing the situation about remote jobs. Remote jobs were already expanding before this lockdown, but this lockdown has caused them to expand exponentially just in the last few weeks. And obviously the reason for that is that there are all these companies that, are, that have a bunch of employees that work in an office. And with this lockdown situation, they're not allowed to keep their offices open. So they basically have two choices. Either they can completely close down their business, lose a ton of money and risk going bankrupt. And by the way, they still have to pay the rent for their office, right? Or they can let those employees work from home. And it's not that difficult to set up the infrastructure to let their employees work from home. So naturally, uh, most of these office businesses, these like corporate office jobs, have moved at least temporarily to uh, working from home. So let's say, let, let me illustrate here. Let's say we have, this is the total number of jobs in the economy here. And uh, prior to the lockdown, let's say that many jobs were remote jobs. Remote. Okay, well, with the lockdown situation and a whole bunch of regular jobs, that's this big section here, moving to remote, the chart now looks something more like this. So the, the number of remote jobs has exploded. Now, some of these, once the lockdown is done, some of these are gonna go back to, to being regular jobs, towards being regular office jobs and not being remote anymore. But a lot of them are not. A lot of them, the employers are gonna start realizing that, hey, we already put in place all the infrastructure that we need to make these jobs remote. And what if, we just kept them remote. That way, we don't have to pay for an office building. You know, these companies pay a lot of money in rent for these office buildings to house all these people. That's a lot of real estate and it's expensive. So they realize that they don't have to pay that anymore if they keep their employees, employees remote. They also realize that when they're going to hire new employees, if they're hiring remote, instead of just hiring the people in their local area that are willing to drive to their office or trying to bribe people with these huge relocation bonuses to move to their local area, they can hire people from all over the world or at least all over the country because, you know, there's visa issues to worry about. But they get such a massively bigger pool of people that they can hire from. So it's really good for the companies to hire remote like this. And... A lot of companies that are kind of stuck in the old ways now are being forced to accept this and are being forced to recognize the benefits of it. So hopefully you can understand why right now there is this massive influx of new remote jobs. Now, um, I'm gonna go over real quick, I'm gonna tell you how to get some of those remote jobs. One way to get them is through specific remote job sites. There are specific job sites where companies post jobs that are fully remote jobs. And I'll tell you a few of them here. There's a lot of them, but I'll just tell you a few. Uh, one of them is remote.co. Another one is weworkremotely.com. Another one is pangean.com. All of these sites hire exclusively for remote jobs. And again, I'm only telling you a few of them here. Uh, if you wanna know more of them, like a whole bunch of different ways to find remote jobs, I'm gonna tell you how to do that in just a minute, but those are the remote job sites, which is one way to go about it. Another way to go about it is through regular job sites, like LinkedIn, like Monster, like another really good one is ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter.com. Um, all you do is you search remote in either the job description or the job location. Now, they should put it in the location every single time, but you know, they're HR people, sometimes they don't really know what they're doing. And so if a, if a company is in Tampa, Florida, um, and they're hiring for a remote position, they'll list the, the location as Tampa, Florida, because you know, the person in the HR office thinks, okay, we're in Tampa, Florida, so we're gonna write Tampa, Florida on the job description. The problem with that is that, that everybody who's looking for remote jobs, um, isn't gonna find that unless they happen to be in the Tampa area. So the way around that is to leave the locations field blank and search remote in the search box. 
So that's just like a super quick overview to give you somewhere to get started. But if you would like more detail on that, if you would like to get my complete remote jobs guide, where I show you eight different ways that you can find remote jobs, including a whole bunch of different websites, some curated lists, and some, some strategies that you've probably never thought of before. I created a video guide, it's 100% free, which you can get in the link in the description below, which will show you all of those creative ways to find remote jobs. Now with this lockdown situation, it actually opens up yet another opportunity. And that is a little bit devious, it's a little bit sneaky, so uh, you know, bear with me here. But what you do, is you apply for a job in your local area that's an office job. Now, chances are that job will be remote for the moment. Whether or not it's going to continue to be remote after the lockdown is done, only time will tell. But what you can do is you can apply for a job that you're qualified for, go through the application process, get interviewed, and then once you get the offer, then let them know that you would like that job to be fully remote. Now, since they're already agreeing that it's gonna be remote for the time being, it's not that much of an extra commitment for them to make it fully remote. And the fact that you've already gone through the hiring process, they've already told you that you're the one, they've already offered you the job, means that they are already invested in you, so they're gonna be much more likely to actually be willing to meet your requirement of having a fully remote job. And if you wanna make it a little bit easier on them, you can say that, hey, I'm in the area, um, I can come into the office every once in a while if I really need to, but I would like to be remote unless there's some specific need. And because you're offering that little concession that you can come into the office if there's like an important meeting or something, then that looks a lot more attractive to them and they're much more likely to say yes to your request. And it also helps if you have some sort of justification or some sort of reason. Like you say that, oh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be living here in this city uh, for that much longer, or maybe I need to go take care of my sick mother, or, um, you know, if you have some reason that you know, people will sympathize with for why you wanna be fully remote, then that will help your case as well. Now I realize that what I went over in this video is only a small part of what you need to know to find remote jobs, right? You need to get the clarity on what kind of remote job that you want, especially if you're changing careers, right? So maybe you're a massage therapist or you're a construction worker or something like that and you, you work in a job that's impossible to be remote. Well, that doesn't mean that you can't work remote, it just means that you have to do a career change. And so uh, it is a little tricky to navigate that, but you can absolutely do it. And the way that you do it is that you figure out what is a job that you could do. Something that you could learn the skills uh, where you could do that job. Then you have to figure out what jobs are available. You have to figure out what skills you need. You have to figure out how to actually go and learn that, those skills. You have to figure out how to put a resume together. Um, and you have to figure out how to actually find those jobs and apply for them such that you outdo all the other people that are, that are competing for the same jobs. Because some of these remote jobs are kind of competitive. If you want to have that edge and if you would like to get that clarity and figure out how to, how to backfill your skills, how to backfill your experience, how to do the whole process A to Z so you're going from a place where maybe you're doing a career change or maybe you don't have any experience at all to the point where you're actually getting hired for your ideal remote job. I have a live coaching program that I'm starting very soon where I'm going to walk you through every step of doing that. I'm going to show you how exactly to match your skills and your aptitudes with the perfect remote job for you that fits the lifestyle that you want to live. I'm gonna show you what skills you need in order to get your ideal remote job and any skills that you don't already have, I'm gonna show you how to learn those skills, how to practice those skills, how to prove and demonstrate those skills to employers such that you get hired for the jobs. Then I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect resume that, that puts you above and beyond everybody else that's applying for the same positions. And then of course I'm gonna tell you where to find these jobs and how to apply for them and some 
sneaky little tricks that you can add to your application that will make you stand head and shoulders above everybody else that's applying for the same jobs. So if you're interested in that, again, this is gonna be a live coaching course where I will answer your questions, I will look at your resumes, I, I will literally hold your hand and do everything with you. If that's something that you think you would be interested in, um, just send me an email. This is something that's pretty new, so I don't really have it totally formalized yet. But if that's something that interests you, send me an email to chris at dominatethemarketplace.net. And of course, if you appreciated this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you will be the first person to get all my new videos as they come out and share this with anybody else who might benefit from it.